Is MSG really bad? MSG is the abbreviation for monosodium glutamate. It is a flavor enhancer derived from L-glutamic acid which is actually naturally present in many foods. It has a specific taste to it known as umami, which has a meaty flavor to it. Interestingly, it will make your mouth secrete saliva, and this enhances your food taste. With this, one will have less desire for salty food which is actually a positive thing. MSG has also been used as salt substitute for soups and pre-packed meals. However, for years, it has been viewed as an unhealthy ingredient. So how did people think it is harmful? This happened back in the 1960s when a doctor wrote a letter to a journal of medicine that he got sick when consuming Chinese food and that it resulted from having MSG. From this, some studies backed MSG's bad reputation and that it is highly toxic. Nonetheless, recent studies show that this may actually be an inaccurate fact. Current evidence shows that there were flaws in the method in which the previous studies was conducted. Previously, the sample size was small, there was a lack of dosage accuracy and it was also found that the administration of MSG was not via oral dietary intake and was even administered via injections. Health authorities have now considered MSG to be generally recognized as safe. The acceptable daily intake of MSG should be about 30 mg per kilogram of body weight. This amount is definitely more than the amount one can ingest via normal food intake. In this video, we will examine some of the health effects of MSG on human health based on the latest current research. If you find the video useful, please click the like button and share it with others. Subscribes for more future content. 1. Effect on caloric intake Previously, MSG have been known to cause one to consume more calories due to the fact that MSG disrupts the signaling effect of leptin to our brain. Leptin is supposed to tell our body that you have had enough to eat. Therefore, one will consume more food and overeat. However, latest research shows that MSG is actually linked to the increased feeling of fullness. Since MSG is linked to protein which is a filing macronutrient, in due course, more research is required on this to determine the link between caloric intake and MSG. 2. Effect on Brain Some research shows that MSG can lead to brain toxicity. This happens when glutamate levels increase in the brain, overstimulating the nerve cells, which ultimately results in brain death. Glutamate plays many important roles in our brain functions. However, Current research shows that once MSG is ingested, it is completely metabolized in our gut. This turns into an energy source. There is no evidence that MSG alters brain chemistry when consumed in normal amounts. 3. Special Cases, Sensitive to MSG Some people may experience adverse effects from consuming MSG due to a condition called MSG symptom complex known as MSC, in short. It only affects a very small group of people. MSC symptoms include weakness, flushing, dizziness, headache, numbness, muscle tightness, difficulty breathing, and even the loss of consciousness. The threshold dose that causes these symptoms appears to be around 3 grams and this dose is considered a high dose without food. Therefore, back to the question is MSG harmful? Current research debunks most of the views that consider MSG as harmful and dangerous. However, in some cases, research findings are contradictory, and further studies in humans are needed. Please like if you find this useful. Share this video with your loved ones. Take care and always be in the best of health. Thank you for watching.